revival without the word of god in your spirit in your heart in your mind is dangerous because we don't want just manifestations we don't want just emotions we want to have understanding that god is looking for people that call him who understands who not just call on him but those who understand psalm 53 verse 2 god looks down from heaven i i his eyes search to and fro child of god god is right now looking down from heaven he's looking at your posture he's looking at your attention he's looking at your passion he's looking at your zeal he's looking at your hunger he's looking at your desperation he's looking at your earnest desire god looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand who seek after god so he's not looking to see who is seeking after him he see among those who seek after him because everybody is seeking after him right they lo- everybody is seeking but god is looking if there are any who understand father increase my understanding so we have to not just seek the lord we have to receive understanding of what is expected okay so we're going back to acts chapter 6 to understand how things were done look at notice something verse 2 the 12 called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said it is not reason so the 12 people the 12 disciples not not god was three brethren look out among you so this is not god's idea whose idea is this it's the disciples idea why this idea came from the fact that somebody was upset with them so in sort of giving in to that somebody who is upset they are now creating a system that will be the solution so when there is an issue you don't change your lifestyle you don't change your lifestyle to accommodate their complaints you create you facilitate moments you create boundaries where you can still give them what they want but they still honor the boundaries that you have maintained you say i have chosen certain things but don't be so ignorant that you are insensitive to their feelings but you create you facilitate something so that you continue to love jesus at what point do you cut off at what point do you say no when they don't like your compromise but the only way they will like it is if you will deny your god that's when you have to say goodbye are you understanding what i'm saying until then you try to help them facilitate their need but when they put a demand to you saying it's either me or god <laughs> you say yai 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 why do you go there learn to stand up for christ learn to stand up for your for your faith learn to stand up never be afraid of human beings it is better to be rejected by human beings and be loved by jesus so two kinds of systems there is the disciples coming in and saying there is a need let's anoint seven people but if you go to book of acts chapter 13 you don't see the disciples saying it In fact you see the holy spirit saying it acts chapter 13 verse 1 okay now they were in the church that was at antioch certain prophets and teachers barnabas simeon who was called niger lucius of cyrene manaen a lifelong friend of herod the tetrarch and saul who were they they were prophets and teachers they were already prophets and teachers notice that detail they were not going to become prophets and teachers they were already prophets and teachers okay was to while they were worshiping the lord i'll read the king james version for you it says as they 
minister to the lord oof goosebumps so when you worship the lord you're ministering unto the lord yes can you imagine when you worship you're ministering unto the lord ministers of god because you see your attitude will determine your altitude your attitude in the natural will determine your altitude in the spirit if you look at one thing that jesus did when he chose people when jesus chose people he chose people that were very hard working you want to employ people you study their natural habitat even as a minister of god god is saying before i choose them to be fishers of men let me check out if they're good as fishers of fish so when he meets the disciples the first time they had caught nothing and instead of going to sleep they were washing the nets it it was not like ah oh, i am having a bad day i throw the net somewhere the boat is somewhere else ah this is bad job no 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 they had reverence to their natural job that now even though they had a failure they were diligent to wash the nets diligence will not leave anything behind you will put everything in order because when god sees your natural order he will say ah i am ready to bless her in a supernatural dimension natural order bring order to your natural surroundings to attract spiritual beings god is always looking at natural order before he can trust you with spiritual power god is looking at your natural order he's looking at how you bring the natural order before he can add spiritual power to it i'm telling you these are these are these are very critical parts okay as they ministered to the lord so they were worshiping what happens when they worship they were worshiping the lord and fasting 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 can i tell you something do you know what you're doing right now is fasting you're fasting time ah because fasting is not limited to food this is the problem many christians don't know how to make deals with god they don't know how to make covenants with god they have been 50 days at the feet of jesus but they don't know how to make a covenant with god 50 days they didn't even know they were fasting so how can you take advantage of moments if you didn't have understanding of what you're doing you were worshiping but you didn't know what you were doing you were ministering unto the lord i'm telling you i can come here and just sing a song because i can sing nothing will happen but when i learn to minister unto the lord the way i do it my eyes will be on him my body will be involved in it my heart will be involved in it my kidneys will be involved in it my entire system will be involved in it my focus will be involved in it and then when i sing oh it is jesus Exclusive designs and arts available. Find inspiring and passionate statements to wear at our Jesus Lovers Creation Store. Ever desired to have a physical piece of heaven? Now you can with some beautiful prophetic art from Shaiju Matthew. Get artwork on Jesus Lovers at His Feet, The Alabaster Jar, Arise from Discouragements, Fearless in the Storms, and more. And don't forget to pick up your own copy of His Nearness book. All these resources and more now available at your fingertips when you download the Shaiju Matthew app. Sermons, music, wallpapers, mentorship classes, and more. Find the Shaiju Matthew app now available on iOS and Android platforms. Remember to buy and tag us on your favorite social media at Jesus Lovers Creation, at Shaiju Matthew, and at Teeny SM.
ReviveNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Then something will begin to happen. <laughs> the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work which I have called them. In verse 1, details, how many people's name was mentioned there? Now they were in the church at Antioch, prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, Lucius, Manaen and Saul. That's five. Did I miss somebody? Let's try again. Barnabas, Simeon, Simeon and Niger are the same people. <laughs> ah, that's how you got six. Ah. So that's five people. Five people. Verse two. How many people are set apart? Five guys' names were mentioned. Can you imagine how, how embarrassing? Five guys' names were mentioned and then said, okay, the Holy Spirit said, out of the five guys, I want two guys apart. Does that mean the three guys were not good? It's like this. Put your hand out in front. How many fingers do you have? Five. Can we just choose one or, or just delete the three? Cut off three fingers. Can these two do anything with it? If you cut off these three fingers, these two become very weak. Very weak. These two fingers are depending on the three fingers that you may not visibly see it, but in order to hold a pen, you still need those three fingers. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You need to understand this is how the Holy Spirit works. He always sets apart somebody for a certain time, for a certain period. Refuse to allow condemnation. Condemnation is from the pit of hell. When you're secure in your identity, you attract everything to you. When you're secure in your identity, when you're secure in your identity, you begin to attract good things to you. When you are insecure, you run after everything and everything runs away from you. Because they can smell your insecurity. They can smell your desperation. You go to your boss and say, Please sir, I will be the best sir. I will do sir. Sir, sir, thank you sir. sir. The guy is looking at him and saying, Oh my God, she is really desperate for this job. I can take advantage of her. And he'll now make you a slave working from 10 in the morning to 9 in the evening. And you're working there as a slave because you don't know who you are. But when you know who you are, you value yourself and you carry yourself politely but surely. My goodness. Gone are the days that people will take advantage of you in Jesus' name. You are secure in who you are. At the same time, you are humble in who you are. That combination is a, a, chi a child of God's combination. Secure yet humble. Because there are people who are secure and arrogant. Okay? You may temporarily receive attention, but you will lose God's favor. Because the Bible says God resists the pride. Okay, so what happens? The Holy Spirit speaks to them and says, set them apart for work. Okay, how does he do? Verse 3, again, when they had fasted and prayed, laid their hands on them. Wait a minute. They were already fasting and praying. Okay, when they found out that the Holy Spirit desires to use them, it's, it's not like, Okay, Holy Spirit said it. Yalla, let's go. No, 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 no. There were still preparations needed. Look at your neighbor and say, still preparations are needed. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. Okay, man, loaded scripture. Already they were prophets. Already they were teachers. But they refused to go until the Holy Spirit had spoken to the leaders. 
Some of you are like, I'm already anointed. I don't need anybody else to tell me. No. If you are not under authority, then you're questionable. You want me to submit to you. But you have not submitted to anybody else. Do you understand the problem? The man that came to Jesus, what did he say? He said, I am a man under authority. He told Jesus, I am a man under authority. I know how it works. Send a word, speak a word and it shall be done. And the Bible says, Jesus said, okay, go ahead, go home. Because he knew how the word functions. It is being under authority that activated a certain accurate results and miracles in this man's life that would have taken longer for anybody else so the manner in which to accelerate your results is to find out are you somebody under authority are you under authority but when you learn how the holy spirit works you understand you could be a prophet you could be a teacher but still you wait for the holy spirit to speak to those he has kept above your life and these two guys out of five two he sent them out to preach two said i'm i'm going to send you out okay let's go back to acts chapter 6 in acts chapter 6 this time it was not the holy spirit it is not the Holy Spirit. It was a disciple saying, there needs to be a solution to this issue. There needs to be a system change. There needs to be a system change. So they said, we are going to appoint, we are going to look out first. Okay, brothers, look out among you. Look out. Number one, look for people among you that are honest and full of the Holy Spirit and wise whom we may appoint they went out and did that and found Stephen full of faith and Holy Spirit okay verse 6 whom they set before the apostles number 1 just because they thought they were worthy did not mean that they ran with it they brought it under the leadership of the apostles there that God had placed over there and said now you guys decide we feel these guys are good but you guys are appointed by God now we would like to bring these guys before you so that you can look you can test and you can pray you can ask the Lord and when they had prayed I they were praying before, they are praying during, they are praying after. A child of God must soak every decision they make in prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Prayer, pray before, pray during, pray after. Pray before, pray during, pray after. Prayer is your way of bringing God into your decisions. And saying, Lord, it might be it might look like I am doing something but I will not move forward without you giving me your seal of approval. When they said before the apostle, they prayed. Then step number three, they laid their hands on them. <laughs> Every decision you make, if you can find these three steps, three steps, I've looked at somebody. I really think that this is the guy I need to get married. Hold on. Somebody say, hold on. Yeah. Am I helping somebody now? All the singles, they're listening to me now very carefully. I can feel it. I can feel their attention going to the next level now. You set it before your leaders. I say, I think this is right. But what do you think? I think what is right. But what do you what does your discernment say? Because obviously you've discerned more these kind of things a lot more than I have discerned. 
right now my emotion is involved so i don't want to be involved i want the leaders that god has placed over my life i want to set it before them and i want them to discern the heart of god over this and then number 2 is pray 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 everybody say pray 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 yeah 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 yes you have investigated you have set it before your leaders three you still pray when you when you begin to follow that there is a blessing that will come upon you prayer and preparation must go hand in hand turn to your neighbor and say prayer and preparation must go hand in hand yes 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 just because you have a prophet does not mean you should not investigate just because you have a prophet does not mean you don't investigate so before you bring it to the apostles do your investigation yeah. they lay at their hands the final step is the laying of hands the moment where a blessing is pronounced on your life <sighs> that is the best that is the best that is the best you've prayed for it you've fasted for it you've prepared for it you've investigated for it now don't leave without a blessing being pronounced on your life this is a supernatural keys i'm giving you today decision making your life will produce so much results some of you have skipped all the steps and just headed into certain decisions that till today you cry about even after praying you have to find somebody that can lay hands that is authorized by god to stand as his authoritative person over your life as his stretched hand over your life now when they lay hands and say yes lord we speak a bless let, let me let me give you practical keys there are some decisions young people you're listening to me don't move until your parents give you the blessing you are staying under their house right you are eating from their table so how can you make decisions without their their blessing on your life as long as you are under their umbrella the manner in which you must function is you wait till God speaks to your parents. Your humility will draw the blessing. Your humility. Your humility. Your humility. Ask the Lord, God, give me the grace to be a man and a woman under authority. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't allow any friend to override the system of structure that God is placing over your life. No matter how close they are, no matter how buddies they are, wait a minute. Hold on. You are not a spiritual authority. You may be a friend, but you're not a spiritual authority over my life. Can you make the difference? Why is it that your words and advice of your friend that is more powerful than the authority that God has placed over your life? mostly because you meet your friend five times a week you meet your leaders maybe once or twice a week so the ratio 5 is to 2 so it's easier for you to listen to the voice you hear every day over the voice you hear from above and god may not be talking to you as loudly as your friend and that is where many people go wrong that is where many people go away because the lord comes into the garden once in a while but satan is hanging out very free i have nothing to do hi you want to have a coffee satan is always available to talk to you on the phone stephen out of all those people full of faith and power did great wonders and miracles among the people everybody say did great wonders and miracles 
the quality of stephen among the seven of them was he was full of faith full of wisdom and full of holy spirit now that's a crazy combination one time it says he's full of faith another time he says full of wisdom look at that verse verse 10 it says about his wisdom so the combination is deadly okay so we're going to claim this combination full of faith father give me full of faith father give me full of wisdom father give me full of power hello welcome again thank you for being part of the revive nations family we appreciate all the partners around the world that help us to reach this word to the nations and i believe as the word is coming to you the light of god is penetrating in every areas of your life anything that is in darkness will be exposed by the light of god through this word the good news is that you are able to hear the full sermons on the shaiju matthew app which is available both on ios and android subscribe to our social media platform and let us grow together thank you again for being part of this journey until next time god bless and shalom many of us love jesus by our words facebook posts and scripture quotes But when God wanted to show us how much he loved us, he gave up his only begotten son. He is not looking for part-time Christians nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything distance is not a barrier to god revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services 